What's up, everyone? This is Tatum. I'm back with another episode of Fuck This Review, where today I'm going to be discussing the new Kehlani album, Blue Water Road. Man, first thoughts, I thought it was really good. And to be truthfully honest with you, this is my first Kehlani album that I'm actually uh, listening to. So it's great when you uh, listen to an artist that you never listened to and the music is it's great, you know? A lot of different vibes on this album, sound-wise. You got stuff that sounded like 90s uh, R&B, early 2000s R&B. You got some noun-sounding kind of stuff in her pen and flows that she was switching in and out of the pockets on was just great. Subject matter is great as well. One of the first things I will say, I'll never leave my girlfriend around Kaylon. <laughs> First thoughts, you know, I'd never ever do that. But this is this is really a good album. Um, thirteen tracks, around thirty minutes. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm gonna go through some of the records on here, some things that stood out to me, some things that didn't, uh, and just give my overall take on the album. So let's get into it. But before we start, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We just over two thousand subscribers again. I want to thank all my subscribers. Every last one of you, <laughs> even the ones that disagree with me <laughs> time to time. I enjoyed the dialogue and the comments and the community is just growing and growing and growing. So let's start this. What I really liked about this, I thought that the uh, the songs, the, the way it started was just so like uh, put you in like a vibe of just like being by the ocean. But it actually like represented the cover for me. <laughs> the cover made all the sense in the world once this record came on. Right. Like when she says, uh, I want you to love me again and complete our story. You're a hell of an author. Uh, meet me at the altar. I thought that was like so ill to say. <laughs> the way she's just doing it over the this with this particular production was just, like I said, it, it was a great intro because looking at the cover, I'm like, well, yeah, this, this makes total sense, you know? Any given Sunday, I thought this song was dope because she... <laughs> This is why I said I can have my girl around Kaylani. But, like, obviously she's talking about, like, you to interpret it as the stripper and shit. Make it rain any given Sunday. She says, like, the, the baddest bitch in the mirror wants to love somebody, right? I would say this. Let me pause for a second. One of the things that really stood out to me was how much she was popping her shit on this album. And it felt so comfortable. And it felt like... I'm not sure. I'm not a big Kaylani fan. So you can let me know in the comments. But it felt like some growth happened between... Uh, her last album to this one and i'm not even a fan i don't know i'm just saying like i know that's kind of abrasive to say like <laughs> if you haven't if you're not a fan but it just seems like just from listening to this music that it's it's some growth in there like as a human just the way that she popping that shit like i enjoyed it just for that blast on there i thought it was dope because again we don't get a lot of duets but i'm seeing a lot and a lot more duets nowadays and this album is full of duets actually but just seeing a lot more uh, men and women going back and forth in the song again. And I just enjoyed that part. I wish I never... Uh, she had me soon soon as I heard the Slick Rick sample. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, this is this is dope. Like, it, we're going into... Like, it reminded me sort of that Mary vibe in a way. Just that hip-hop and blending that hip-hop and R&B from the late 90s, early 2000s. The transition into the next song was dope. Never meant what I said to you was in character for the animation. You ain't never seen this type of stimulation. And when I heard it, I was like, ooh. <laughs> Going to Up at Night, again, continuing that great vibe of that 90s R&B. The beat was had like this West Coast bounce to it that I really enjoyed. And even the hook reminds me of some old like Brandy... It was like simplistic, straight to the point, like some old brandy shit from back in the day. So I really enjoyed that record as well. Get me started. She says, uh, first we get to touching and just kissing softly, ended up fussing. Can you get up off me? And at first when I was listening to it, I totally missed it. Like with the songs about, I thought it was like, you know, obviously. But when I was listening to it more, I was like, oh shit. Like just to describe like how we, the levels of going from here to blissed and then the very next second i'm like get off of me type shit like you get on my fucking nerves we're fighting we're bigger and it's, it's I, th I thought that was so cool <laughs> you know it ain't been the same between us uh where's the disconnection you need something else well maybe she could do you better i guess choose peace over stress i can't clean up your mess you want to leave be my guest and i thought 
Sid on there was a great addition to the record. Like she she fit right at home. So much that I thought it sounded a little bit better than Kaylani's part. Like when they were singing, when they traded off the hook. That's just me though. More than I should, very sexy record. Gave me that old like Timberland and uh, Genuine Pony kind of vibe. I don't know, I could be reaching with that, but I felt that kind of vibe when I listened to that record. And you know, that song is just about, you know, talk to a woman who's in a relationship cheating on their person and like obviously Kaylani's realizing that they're not obviously happy in that situation it said and I like the way you treat your mama because it shows how somebody would come and treat their woman and I thought that was like one of the illest bars lines on this whole album it should have been my favorite line but it isn't but it's one of the coldest lines on this whole album also was one of my favorites and from doing a little research I read that it was the first single from this album she discussed it dealing with a lot of loss coming out of 2020 um, so Alta is dedicated to all those I've lost 2020, 2021 uh, Was full of gaining angels uh, Full of understanding death Full of growing through grief Full of uh, elevation and honor This was a quote from Kaylani And listen to that record You can hear that all throughout But it's a beautiful, beautiful record For all of us who's lost loved ones During this uh, trying times Of the last two years, myself included It's like, oh, that one hit me here, you know? I enjoy Melt. I enjoy Tangerine. Even uh, Wandering, Wandering. <laughs> uh, towards the end, I thought it was a great record. Again, I think this album has so many different vibes on here that it's just, like, hard to not find something to like. I'm not sure if this is how all Kaylani albums are, but this one was really, really good to me. Uh, I found myself, and it's short. It's only 30-something minutes, and I found myself, like, putting it on in the car and then just letting it go. You know, and it's it's hard for, especially, I'm a music snob, so it's hard for me to even, like, yeah, listen to new or, or certain albums all the way through. But this one, this one did the job. So, let me get into my best songs, though. Wish I Never, Any Given Sunday. Worst song, I like everything, but it's something about it that, like, I don't know if it's the hook, because I'm tired of that phrase. Uh, it's, it's the everything for me kind of thing. But the verses on there are so good good <sighs> sorry i'm gonna have to pick it everything's the worst song best line she says uh wish i could build a cute apartment one bedroom right where your heart is inch of space feels broken hearted across the bed feels way too far and i wonder when they see just one do they see us too and i said Ooh. and that was like a hook <laughs> like that was so ill like that's it's visual it's meaningful it it shows emotion, it shows vulnerability, and that little four bars, it shows so much and says so much, so I had to pick that. As far as a rating, right now, still early, it's not even been, it hasn't even been a week, but just off the first couple listens, I'll give it a, I'll give it a four. I'll give it a four out of five. It's really good, <laughs> and I'm not a K-Londy fan, but I'll give it four fucks out of five. Uh, let's wrap this up, though. In closing, when it comes to Kaylani Blue Water Road, again, I, I can't hype this album up. I can't say any more about this album, so I'll just ask you, what's some of your favorite songs on here? Uh, what does this album rank in Kaylani's discography? Also, let me know if there's any other Kaylani album that I should go listen to, maybe do a live reaction to, or do you want me to do a review, sit with it a little bit more and give my full out thoughts? But let me know in the comments. <sighs> This has just been dope. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I really enjoy when I go into listen to music, like not knowing what I'm gonna get out of it, and like the artist gains a fan out of me. I really enjoy that. So, as always, fuck this review. I'm Tatum. Peace.